And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago Cubs and the San Diego Padres. Ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be back with the first Yo, pitch right after this. San Diego. Padres. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. All right, ready to get underway. Rafael Ortega stands in. Foul ball there. Next pitch way upstairs. Next pitch has popped up. And there's one away. Batting second. The first baseman. Number 18. Now the number two hitter, Frank Schwindel. No score, just getting started. Top of the first. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. In the air, center field. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. This guy has turned into one of the best catchers in the game, but was originally signed by the Cubs as an infielder. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit, the Happ Daddy. And that chance handled. The throw to first, and that is the third out of the inning. One left for the Cubs. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Bottom of the first. Our starter in this one, Marcus Stroman. Chris, how about a scouting report? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because, you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Bounce to the left side. Wisdom over to pick it up. That takes care of Grisham. Batting second. The third baseman. Manny. Here's Machado. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Fires over to Schwindel. 
score at 5-3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. Second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Left hand batter waits. Looked like it was a little bit up. Two down, nobody on. Ball that jumps out. In the air, left field, half makes a move towards the gap. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Padres down in order. We played an inning, no score. All set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, Patrick Wisdom. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And quickly one away in the second. Clint Frazier, the next Cub to hit. Kicks and fires stays alive swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single man those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever such a good feeling everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock those always feel good one gone runner at first so up now for Chicago Jason Hayward got him swinging and there's two down now it's Andrelton Simmons out towards left center Grisham a couple of steps in great effort as he's able to haul it in and that's the inning Cubs leave one we'll go to the bottom of the second no score back here at Petco Park bottom half of inning number two stepping in for San Diego Luke Voigt The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Contreras makes the catch. One up, one down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And now it's Eric Hosmer. No score here in the second. And down on strikes. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Will Myers now. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Runner at first with two away. And now Austin Nola. Of course, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters in baseball. I 
The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. At the belt and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains 3 and 2. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. Padres leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in San Diego, here's Nick Madrigal. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Next pitch has popped up. One away. Now batting the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. And next for the Cubs, Rafael Ortega. He popped out his first time. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone. And now the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. Top of the third, no score. Check swing went around. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. That's down and in. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark. Now batting Jerickson Profar. <laughs> to the right side. Magical. Handles the chance. Whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting none. Not shortstop. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. The wind of the pitch. That one hit to right. Hayward turns, moving to his left. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. The center fielder, number two. Trent. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Next offering is foul back. Two outs. Off the plate inside, and the count's full. Right side, Madrigal handles. Tosses to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars, and we are still scoreless.
Welcome back. Start of the fourth. Leading off, Wilson Contreras. Right hander kicks deals on the ground, and it goes just foul. Kicks and deals. And a pop-off right side, foul territory. And a quick out number one. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're eye level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Ian Happ up to hit. One down, base is empty. That's to third. Machado throws to first in time. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Stepping in the long ball threat, Patrick Wisdom. And now two and one. And the pitch. Strike two. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And we're still knotted at zero. Bottom of the fourth, Manny Machado up to the plate. One one now. And Manny gets a piece. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And the 2 2. And that one hit to first. He'll do it himself. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Now back the designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. And it'll be Luke Voigt to stand in. Popped out and foul ground first time through. 3 2 on the way. And that one fouled off. Three and two now. On the ground right side. And foul ball. And he walked it. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now it's Eric Hosmer. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground to third. They get the force. Play made. That ends the inning. One left for San Diego. Still no score.
And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Clint Frazier. The next pitch misses. Now three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And up next for Chicago, Jason Hayward. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Ball to strike. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. That one felt good, and the Cubs have the lead now. It's 2 nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Now it's Andrelton Simmons. The pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. And in foul ground he pulls it down. One out. The batter. The second baseman. Nick Madrigal. Nick Madrigal now at the plate. First time up was a pop out. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And it gets by him. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Now that the seventh fielder, Rafael. Ortega. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Rafael Ortega. And here it comes. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Cubs had two on this homer. It's now a 2 0 ball game. Back here at Petco Park. Now it's the right fielder, Will Myers. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 1-1. One -one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The pitch. Chopper right side. Schwindel picks it up. He steps on the bag, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Up next to the Padre, the catcher, Austin. Now the catcher up to hit, Austin Nola. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Next pitch is popped up. 
Wisdom drifts towards it. Makes the grab. Two down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good no coming in, but 10. so hard to get on top of Here as a hitter. Now the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, with just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets outs. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Inning over. Three up, three down for San Diego. They trail it here, 2-0. Back here at the ballpark. Yeah, the batter now, Frank Schwindel. The 1 1. Oh. And another ball. The 2 1. That one missed. Right. 3 1 now. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. One for two. Righty delivers. And now it's even up. Bullpen action for the Padres. Austin Adams up and loosening in the pen. Stammen getting cranked up as well. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three, and they turn the double play. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. Left-hand batter waits. Ripped, but it curls foul. Next pitch, not close, up high. Stays alive. The next offering misses, and it's a full count. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. In the air, right field, Myers gliding back. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cubs, two, and the Padres, nothing. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Stepping in for San Diego, ha -Sung Kim. That to right. He makes the grab, and there's one down. The center fielder, number two, Trent. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. 
He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Stays alive. And a pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. One down. Here's Manny Machado. Good contact guy. Good defender. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. And a pitch. Fought off foul. One out. Runners at first and second. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Has some trouble with it. Wisdom to second. The batter, the designated hitter. And Luke Voigt climbs in. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Austin Adams. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Here's a big power threat. Patrick Wisdom. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. One ball. As Two he strikes. was out front that time. Kicks and fires. That one off the mark. Now two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. This to third. And that's a fair ball. Digging it out of the corner, takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And 
and now the DH Clint Frazier. The one one way high. I got two one the count. Wisdom leads off second with nobody out. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Chases that one out of the zone. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. And he deals. And a swing and a miss, and there's two away. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. So two down now, and here is Andrelton Simmons. And now two balls and a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. He swings and fouls one off. Next one is off the plate, and that's ball three. Right-handed reliever, and that one fouled off. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Next offering is fouled back. The kick, the 3-2. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So up now for Chicago, Nick Madrigal. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. And a one-two. Got him. And that will end the inning. Cubs strand a couple. They're up 2 nothing. Back here in San Diego, bottom of the seventh. So digging in now for San Diego, Eric Hosmer. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Swung on, popped up, left side. That's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Next for the Padres, Will Myers. Myers. 
Runner at first with no outs here. Grounder might be two. Off balance speed, there's one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. The batter, the catcher, Austin Nola. And now it's Austin Nola. And a 1 1. There's the swing and a miss. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Rowan Wick getting ready to go. Robertson warming up as well. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. So Craig Stammen into the game, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 34, Craig Stammen. Ready to begin the eighth, and now the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. And the righty deals. And that's in for a strike. The one two. Late swing, foul to the left. And the right hander deals. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And next for the Cubs, Frank Schwindel. Here comes the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Stammen, he's made a name for himself as a very effective reliever, but not really what you expect from a bullpen arm these days because he's not out there racking up K's. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. I think it's the deception and his ability to change arm angles and slots and give hitters different looks within one at bat. They're never able to get comfortable when you only see him once. A lot of times he has success. And now two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Got to be clever, too, when you don't have that lights out stuff, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you got to know what you're able to do. Instead of focusing on what that hitter's strength is, stay with your strength and trust that you'll come out on top. Chopped left side. Oh, the throw is over his head. And he'll reach second with one away. Well, that was a throw that just shouldn't have been made. They scored a single and an error, so the official scorer doesn't believe a good throw would have gotten an out, and neither do I. We can't hear it from up here, but I wonder if anyone was telling him just to eat the throw. You know, that's where communication on the infield can sometimes help out a ton. Next pitch in the dirt, and a count to and one. Here's a 2-1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. The 2-2 now. Ground ball up the middle. Cronenworth collects it. Gathers and throws to first. And Contreras is retired. The left fielder, number eight, Ian Happ. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ian Happ. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. 
The pitch. Out to short. Kim gloves it. Throws across the diamond. And that is that. One left for the Cubs. But they're on top 2-0. So they bring on the veteran, Chris Martin, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. Kicks and deals. Oh, Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Line drive, short hop to third. Throw to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Batter number seven. And now the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Two down. The center fielder, number two, Prince. And stepping in is the speedy Trent Grisham. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Manny Machado now. Runner. First offering. Runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Save at second, and that was not close. Here's what I think the manager's thinking right now. Today, we're not driving the ball. It's hard to get extra base hits. We've got to make something happen to get a runner in a scoring position. That stolen base, excellent call. Now, all it takes is perhaps a single to put a run on the board. The one-two. And yeah, Machado able to spoil that pitch. The next pitch misses. It's two and two. They'll try to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Next offering upstairs. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Three, two now. And that's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Grisham at second. Machado at first. Two out of the inning. Swing at a high fly ball left field. And that is that. Padres leave a pair. They trail things here. Two nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now here is Patrick Wisdom. One one now. Hard hit left side. Tosses across the first and they get the lead off man in the ninth. Now batting the designated hitter. Clint. Frazier. Now it'll be the Cubs DH. Clint Frazier. 
A strikeout and a walk. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Here's a 1 1. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Now it's the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Falling behind two and one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next pitch is in the dirt. Counts full three and two. At the belt and fires. There's a high chopper. Nola fires over to first, and he's out. So up next, Nick Madrigal. The M.O. for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. Two-two now. Line to left. Profar makes the catch, and that'll do it. Cubs strand a couple, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Rowan Wick. And he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the ninth, Luke Voigt will step to the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful, not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. The pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. And the pitch. And there's a ball. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a 3-2. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in. And that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One thing throughout his career, Chris, people looking for him to hit the ball in the air a little bit more, hit for a tiny bit more power. 
Yeah, just doesn't seem to get that lift and backspin consistently. Seen him have power, though, to the opposite field gap, which has been impressive. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Stepping in for San Diego, Will Myers. One for three. Three, two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.